Namaskarams to one and all here. Every year, it is customary that January 2nd, the three of us will usually perform here. This year, we could not make that happen. And while we were wondering how to make good that performance, I went to my Guru's house, Balachandar sir's house, and Shanta Mami said, 18th January is Mama's birthday. Will you play for Mama's birthday? So, what can be a greater blessing than to play for one's guru, mentor? I am too small a person to speak about SB Sir. But I can only say that I have reveled in that aura, watching that phenomenon like a young kid would watch a Vishwarupam. Not fully understand the glory, the magnitude, the depth of what... I was all of 20 when he left this world, but the years that I was there, I can share with you that every single time I was with him, it was like watching a magic show. Be it his playing, his personality, his multifaceted talent, his approach to everything, his adherence to truth, his approach to ragam, his approach to music, and the way he designed his veena, his approach to being an artist. It is very difficult to describe in words what he was. He was a phenomenon. It was probably very good that at that young age, I didn't realize that I was basking in the glory of that phenomenon. Because for me, it was like being with my Tata. I would complain to him saying, this classmate of mine fought with me today, didn't speak. Well, I could have spoken to him about so many things. And he would ask when I come from college, what happened? Whom did you fight with today? That was SB Sir, because greatness is not something that grows only in the top. The depth of the roots goes as deep as the height. So he was tall both ways. Today is his 97th birth anniversary. I think we remember him more now and we'll remember him more and more as his 100th birth anniversary comes because trying to be SB Mama, trying to play like SB Mama like they say in Chennai, chance ail. You can seek inspiration, you can seek guidance. And be inspired to better yourself. To he, uh, he broadened the horizon of instrumental music. There was a time when Instrumentalists would play exactly what the vocalists sang. So, audience would ask, why should I come to this instrumental concert? I might as well go listen to a vocal concert, vocal rendition. He said, no. Like his book, he brought out the voice of the veena. So, when he said gayaki, he did not talk about singing in the human's voice. He spoke about the voice of the veena, singing on the voice of the veena. That was his gayaki. One can go on speaking about him. We'd rather 
think about him seek his blessings on this guruvaram and play what little we know today we will start with of course with me are vidwan shri r shankar narayanan on the mridangam <laughs> vidwan shri trichi krishna swami on the ghatam we have kumari pragya adiga who's going to be singing one song i'll tell you about it when we come to that song you want to clap for and more than anything shanta mummy's presence here is making all the difference and i'm sure mama is sitting somewhere here i don't want to think too much about it then i will feel very nervous so we'll just hope that he's blessing us from somewhere ragam malahari panchamatanga a composition of shri muttu swami dikshitar in rupakatala ragam malahari
The great Vina Vidwan, Mysore, Sri R. Vishweshwaranji. Have you heard of him? He was a great admirer of SB Mama. He used to visit SB Sir's house so many times, and they have shared a very, very great friendship. His brother, R. Satyanarayana, was a very, very prolific scholar, Sri Vidya Upasaka, a very, very knowledgeable person. He has composed several kritis, verses, shlokas, poems, authored. I think he was also a Padma Bhushan awardee. So he wrote a song on Veena, Sri Vine. And he requested S.B. Sir to set it to tune. So S.B. Sir will not just set a song to, you know, a general tune. There has to be something in it. S.B. Sir was very enamored by the concept of symmetry in notes. For instance, he chose the ragam Kalyani to set the song to tune. The lyrics, the Sahityam is very beautiful, but the, the tune itself is very cryptic and there are a lot of, I mean, you need a lot of time to understand the nuances of it. Shanta Mami told me only a few days, so we are trying to do justice to that Kriti, but it's available online too. So what Mama tried to do in this Kriti is, he used the symmetry of notes in Kalyani, like for instance, So the way he approached the Kriti itself is there were many prayogams in the ascending order. 
सो दि परी दीप समथिंग इन दि असेंडिंग ऑर्डर एंड धातु प्रयोगम्स मीनिंग स्किपिंग वन नोट इन बिटवी देन पंचम वर्ज्य प्रयोगम्स प्रयोगम्स विथट सज्जम एंड पंचम एंड देन टेकिंग दि विवादी नो ई मीन दि वादी संवादी नोट्स मनी गादरी पा सो इट्स क्वैट अ चैलेंज टू सिंग सांग लाइक दैट आवर डियर प्रज्ञा हेज is uh, going to sing that song while i try and play it um we play a short very short alapne of this ragam keeping in mood of the song not a general kalyani raga alapna but trying to show you the vadi samvadi phrases and then we'll present this kriti for you with mommy's permission Thank you. 
you wondered why the Tanya Vartanam was a bit different and special today, it was because SB Mama was also a wonderful Ganjira player. He was a chess player, he was a sitar player, he was a Dilruba player, he was a chess player, he was an excellent sitar player and several more. And the evolution, the process in which a musician goes through all these stages and then finally culminates in the essence of the voice of the Veena. So, for his concert, we can't play something that starts with two and four and on summer month. He would probably not be happy up there in the photo there. It has to be three thalli or five or seven and uh, a little bit interesting because he would say, for Talam, for several months when I, when my guru, Padmati Amma, sent me to him, for several months I didn't even get to touch the veena. We were only putting Talam. He would say, I will, I will quote it in Tamil and then translate it, Oru metro nama vangi mulingidano. Meaning, the sense of rhythm should be so much in you that go to a shop, buy a metronome and swallow it. It should be within you. That is the sense of... Talam is different, a layam is different. Talam is math. Layam is a sense of... How can you say it in English? Rhythm, something more than rhythm. Layam is a gate, your pace, a layam in your thoughts, a layam in your speech, a layam in your performance, a layam in your attitude, a pace. Rhythm is more mathematical, you can count your fingers and do, it's a very clever thing. But layam is something that's connected with soul. So, SB sir was the king of that and thank you for giving us an opportunity to do something small today. We will conclude with one piece, Radha Sameta Krishna in Yamuna Kalyani and, and then Kamakshi Lokasakshi. Can we do that, Ramona? Yes. Ramona, I know him from my childhood, SB Sir's son and Dharmaka, they are as multifaceted as Mama and great actors on stage. I'm, I'm sure most of you have watched their plays. And of course, Bharadwaj, the wonderful Veena player, grandson of SB Mama. The whole family is here. What a blessing. We will now play Radha Sameta Krishna and Kamakshi Lokasakshi.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 